So the next step in the unfolding process is to clean up the shells that were created from our uh, projections. OK, so first thing I'm going to do is, uh, is actually just separate them out uh, in the UV texture editor. I'm not going to worry about scaling them too much. I'm just going to separate out the shells. If you're not already in um, shell mode, go into shell mode. OK, so you can select entire shells and then uh, um, and, and if you have, if you're not already used to the texture editor, you can move around the texture editor in the same way that you move around the normal Maya space. However, it's uh, it's only in a 2D space, so I can just go uh, Alt uh, click to move around it, okay, and then Alt and do my middle, uh, uh, my left, so Alt right click to zoom in and out, or I can just use my middle wheel and again Alt left click to move around, okay. Um, okay, so uh, and actually to move the UV shells is again very similar to moving uh, elements in your Maya workspace. You just use these transport tools to zoom, rotate and uh, scale your UVs. Obviously you can only uh, do this again in the 2D plane. At the moment we just want to move them. So I'm just going to move these so we've got our shells in separate positions. Uh, I'm going to grab this and then I'm finally I'm going to grab this okay so that's our the four shells that make up our kind of digger bucket okay now um the shells from uh say if i just have a look at it the shells from uh this side of the model uh is is looking quite good uh, the only problem we've got is just these edges here where it's obviously where the edges are kind of sloping going uh, uh, transferring from uh, this sort of vertical plane into this horizontal plane again we're not getting because we've only projected it from a particular plane we're not getting an even kind of um, the texture isn't spreading evenly on on these elements in the corner here okay uh, probably a more pronounced version of that is this uh, 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 bit here where where you can see the letters the the numbers are getting stretched as we go from facing the axis from which we projected from to uh, facing a different axis okay so you can see again that these UV elements if I just oh, hang on and also what you'll see as well hang on um, as, as I move this shell around, you can see it moves the texture around, okay? But you can see that the texture is stretched here because all these faces are not occupying nearly the same amount of space, okay, on this UV map as uh, as these bits do. And so what you want it to do is you want each shell, you want each face to actually occupy the same sort of surface area, okay? Um. OK, so that's what we want to do is we, we, we want to kind of clean, clean that up before we can clean that up. This or the other part, the other problem we've got as well is that this shell kind of loops back on itself because it goes round here and then it kind of comes back on itself around here. So these faces are over the top of each other. OK, as you can see. So what we actually want to do is we also want to actually unfold this in such a way that that uh, this is, this becomes one long set of faces down here rather than overlapping each other. OK, so what we're going to do is uh, in order to do that, what we need to do is actually cut this surface because actually uh, it's, it's a continuing loop of surfaces. So we need to actually cut this surface. Um, obviously, where we cut it is going to kind of cause it's going to in in theory is going to be quite visible so we need to think about where we want to cut ideally because because it's where the actual textures meet up so we want to think about where we cut ideally cut somewhere where it's not going to be seen uh, i'm going to cut on this edge here because i think that will be the least it's unlikely that we're going to see both uh, sides of the front of this bucket uh, so i think if i cut on this on this edge here it's unlikely that you're going to see that join okay so to do that, I need to go right click into edge mode and just select this edge. And you can see that that edge is selected here. And then in the polygons menu inside my UV texture editor, I want to go cut. Cut UV edges. It doesn't look like anything's happened and you won't see anything happen. But what will happen, but this will affect uh, our next step. And the next step is to actually select this shell. OK, so I'm going to go shell. Um, in fact, I'm going to go shell, 
select the shell, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and unfold. So the unfold process is basically trying to flatten out this projection onto this surface so that all the faces are, are evenly spaced out. I go into polygons, uh, uh, I'm looking for unfold, if I can find it, here we go, unfold. Let's select the options. And typically what I tend to do is unfold it in one axis at a time. So I'm just going to go unfold vertical. Let's apply that. OK, so you can see what's happened is it's unfolded this texture into the vertical axis. OK, and you can see straight away this had a really positive impact on our model because you can see straight away a where we cut it. It's actually those surfaces aren't doubling over each other. OK, and also you can see that no longer is, is it a UV that's just projected from a single point. It's a UV that's continually even is, is evenly mapped to this surface. OK. Great. Uh, what we can do is the other thing as well. Now that's been done quite successfully, what I'd like to try and do as well is just unfold in the horizontal axis as well. So let's just click apply. OK. And what that should do is just clean up this horizontal axis. OK. And then what we want to do is do a very similar thing with this as well okay uh, again we can again this is not a continuous loop so we don't need to worry about cutting the UVs we can just go straight into unfold so we'll just click apply okay uh, in the uh, vertical axis and then apply in the horizontal axis okay again I'm just going to go control Z because I haven't really seen it have much effect on what we're doing uh, let's have a look uh, what I might do is just go select that again. Uh, it might be because this is quite even down here that we don't actually see much movement anyway uh, in, in in this process. Uh, yeah, and it looks like that's that's sort of done it fine. OK, so that's that unfolded as well. Uh, we also, even though this is quite a good projection, we also want to unfold these sides as well for the reason that I spoke about earlier. And you can see that um, uh, as we apply the edges here, it's you're not these edges are not as evenly spaced out as they should be on this uh, uh, on this map. You can see the edges are very close together. We want to actually have those kind of evenly spaced out uh, 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 rather than the way they are at the moment. OK, so again, I want to go unfold and I tend to just sort of do an unfold process on all of them. Uh, so again, I'm going to click on the options. I'm just going to unfold in a, uh, a single axis at a time. So I'm going to go apply and then horizontal apply. OK, and it doesn't look like it's done much. But again, hopefully here you can see that on these edges here that aren't facing the axis directly, uh, it is actually um, uh, you're getting a better result with your unfold here. Next, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go apply. I'm going to go apply. OK, and you can see it's just sort of tweaked the unfold a little bit. So that's unfolding the mesh. Final thing we want to really do is sort of clean this uh, uh, is clean this uh, mesh up a little bit. OK. Um, uh, uh, and the other thing we probably want to take care of is the fact that uh, the projection seems correct from this angle and correct from this angle and correct from this angle because it's you know the, the numbers are lining up. But notice how the numbers are kind of upside down for this particular shell. Uh, we can correct that by simply uh, clicking on this icon here, which will rotate the UV around. Uh, let's have a look. Probably want to rotate it around. Might be that we actually need to actually use this rotation tool here instead. Let's try that to see if we can get it the right way round. Again, we're just rotating in the 2D, 2D plane. OK, so that now we've got this surface the right way up as well. OK, let's have a look what we've got. So now all our surfaces are the right way up. The only other thing that we really want to sort of uh, that we probably want to tweak here is um, uh, is the um, is some of these UVs aren't exactly brilliantly lined up here. OK, and we, we you know, these should be straight in theory. So what we could do 
is just sort of align some of these UVs. Uh, so for example, we've got a bit of a, sort of a mess here, and we've got a bit of a mess here. So we could align these UVs to make them a little bit more accurate, okay? So uh, an easy way to clean this up uh, this time, what we want to do is rather than select entire shells, we want to select individual UV points. They're kind of like vertices, but don't get them confused with your vertices. By moving this, moving these has no impact on the model. It just has an impact on how this 2D texture is mapped to the UV. Uh, the other thing you should be aware of, in case you're getting confused about what's happening here, is that uh, this texture is mirrored. Uh, 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 basically infinitely. So even though this isn't directly on top of the texture, um, it's getting, it, it's still, the, the texture just continues and mirrors uh, infinitely. So it ends up being applied to these gray areas anyway. So yeah, I want to just select these UVs here and then just go, um, I'm going to uh, turn off this unfolds menu and I'm going to go polygons and I'm going to select uh, uh, a line, okay. And what I want to do is align these. So if you imagine that the uh, UV axis is going on in this direction from uh, left to right, okay. What I want to do is align the U values. So that's these these ones, and the V is obviously V for vertical is probably an easy way of remembering it, okay. So I want to align the U values to the minimum U value. So the lowest. I want all these U these points to align with the with the point that has the minimal value. And I'll click apply and you'll see that they all align nicely there. Again, I'm going to do a similar thing here, but this time I'm going to align them to the maximum value um, uh, because uh, because I'm on a, working on a different side. So I'm going to apply to the maximum value. And again, I'm going to select this. This time it's in the V axis. So I'm going to select the minimum V at value and, and align to that. And you can see that I'm basically cleaning up these UV maps. Just looking for any kind of messiness in here that I need to clean up and again on this one here this looks pretty clean to me uh, just a slightly messy here and again I can click apply just to clean that up Ooh, don't want to do that Let's turn off my tool there and again I can go down here and clean all this up as well okay and apply so that's kind of cleaned up that model a little bit um i think there probably is room to clean it up a little bit more because this side is you know this is this is a bit wonky here as well let's just uh, do that in the u okay uh, in fact sorry i want to just go control z and minimum u is what i want for that okay uh, but that's looking pretty good okay first thing i want to do is um obviously I don't really want the image to have to be mirrored in order to apply a texture to my bucket. Uh, I want to be able to do it all in one, uh, you know, I want, I want uh, uh, one file that's going to texture all these ed edges uh, differently. So in order to do that, I need to actually fit all these shells into this space here so I can actually give them individual textures. So again, I'm going to go back into shell, select that, and all I'm going to do is uh, right click uh, let's see if I can get this right. Uh, uh, sorry, not right click. Uh, click on the scale tool. Uh, sorry, the scale tool, and then literally just drag that down and scale it. Okay, and move it. Uh, I'm going to just use, I'm going to use the hot keys. It's the same hot keys as you use in the, in the main sort of modeling environment. Again, I'm just going to scale this down. In fact, actually, before I scale it down. I'm going to undo that. In fact, before I scale it down, I'm probably going to do that in the next video uh, because what I want to do now is actually build this, uh, is, is actually mirror this bucket again so that we we can actually have uh, all the shells we need to do to do the entire bucket rather than just half of the bucket.